That's right. I talked to uh, Dr. Pat Abbott. Uh, we often turn to him for his insight about earthquakes as well as other science related things. Uh, so right now we are in uh, Mission Bay and uh, this is, is where we see the most impact of uh, tsunamis when we've seen them before in the past. It's here in the harbor. So what is a tsunami? Here's what Dr. Abbott said. A tsunami is a, a results from a massive amount of energy being struck into the ocean. That could be a meteorite impact. It could be a volcano eruption. In this particular case, it's a gigantic fault boom, but a gigantic earthquake that loaded the water full of energy. And so water is really good at moving all of that energy. It transmits uh, energy pulses really well. So he says that because there was that monster earthquake in Russia, a lot of that energy moved through the water and hit us here in North America. Now, Dr. Abbott says there's so much energy, it bounces off of North America and hits Asia kind of back and forth. Now, obviously, the pulses aren't as strong, uh, but this goes on across the ocean until eventually the energy dies out. Now, the word tsunami is a Japanese word for harbor wave. And again, that's because that's where you see a lot of the impact is when it hits the harbor. Uh, here in San Diego back in 2011 and 2004, boats were rocked in our harbors by earthquakes that happened in Japan and in the Indian Ocean. Now, you may think of a tsunami as this giant tall wave, but what it really is is a sheet of water that goes on and on, uh, sometimes for miles inland. It's a massive sheet of water that runs in. And, you know, the best example in an educational sense I've ever seen was 2011 Japan. When you watch that wall of water, uh, you know, tens of feet high with all the automobiles and broken buildings and watching that slowly advancing inland for six miles from the shoreline. So, in other words, it's not... Uh, the wave height that's significant, it's the wave period. And so uh, should we worry about tsunamis here in San Diego? Well, they are uh, extremely rare in the first place, uh, but Dr. Abbott also points out that we're in kind of a unique position here in San Diego. We kind of have uh, the islands in Catal or Catalina Islands as well as Coronado that sort of block some of that energy uh, before it hits the coast. Uh, so overall, you know, he says we shouldn't be too concerned about it, but it is something to be aware of. He says if you get that warning on your phone, that tsunami uh, warning. He says you should always go inland and try to go to uh, higher elevations if possible. Kelly Hassett, all CBSE.